Okay, I wasn't gonna film this video today, but I woke up and it was snowing. I had to, I had to go out and do it. So today I'm shooting medium format film for the first time because I got one of these cool nifty box cameras from the 1950s and I open it up, clean it up a little bit, wipe down the lens and uh, the viewfinders and stuff and it looks like it just functions. So I got some Ilford HP5 in here so I figured old camera, let's try and shoot the oldest thing I can find in my surroundings, which is right over there. That right there is what we call a hunebed, which is old glacier rocks stacked up from like ice age times. So nobody knows how they got there or how people stacked them up. They're just around. This one's like 15 minutes from my house. So yeah. Uh, Let's try and compose some shots. I don't know if these will actually come out. I have no idea what aperture or shutter speed this thing is at. I looked online, they said shoot in bright light. So guess that's what we're doing. I think I just took a shot of this position in the roll earlier on my way here just to try it out. So I'm just gonna advance this little lever until, all right, so now it shows a little one. I, hopefully this isn't causing any light leaks. I heard people say it might. So uh, yeah, let's uh, hope for the best. Let's try it out. All right, stepped in a puddle, no problem. It's quite difficult to compose with this. It has a viewfinder, but it's very finicky to line up the horizon correctly. I left in such a hurry, I forgot to bring my gloves. <laughs> it's freezing out. Okay, let's get a little closer. So my idea when I got this camera was like, all right, it's winter. Let's wait for some snow. And after I got the idea, like within a week, it started snowing, so that's pretty cool. Excited that I get to try it out. I think I'll try a portrait shot on this one. See how that goes. I know the minimum focus distance is like three meters. Or it should be anyway. So as for like settings on this thing, right? There's, there's two. You have this little button at the front that you can turn. To the right, it's just, you hit the button, it takes a it takes photo. And if you put it to the other options, it's BT. No idea what the first one said, it's all like rubbed out because it's old. But I think the BT one is just like bulb mode. There is a little cable release mount on the shutter button. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is a Bilora standard box. I tried to do a little research and I'm pretty sure they're indeed from the 1950s. I was very surprised to see it still just like works and functions and the shutter fires and everything. I like this big tree, this big boy right there. I have actually no idea how many shots are in a roll. This is my first time shooting medium format film, so it's all a bit experimental still. I don't know if you can really tell, but this grass below me here has quite a cool little texture to it with the wind blown snow and everything. So I think I'm gonna try and get a shot of that. I think I'm gonna try and get some more of these rocks in here because this is a cool, unique little thing to shoot. These rocks are old, man. I remember learning about it when I was younger. I don't remember the exact numbers anymore, but thousands of years. It's like, a, it's, like, it's like a Stonehenge, I guess. I forgot to mention, you can mount a tripod on this thing. The functionality in the 50s, insane. Okay. You can start hearing some noises. I think we're getting towards the end of the roll. 
I'm at shot eight right now. I think there could be a cool shot, maybe trying to go through the bottom of that. So let's set that up. Yeah, let's see how that looks. Oh, I've reached the black line. I assume that's either a last shot or the roll is done. I guess I'll hit one more exposure. Okay, thicker line. Maybe there's one more, who knows? So I've always been told these things are like burial sites, but I don't know, man. Does that look like a burial site to you? There's like a stone ring, a ring of stones, like these stones right here. I don't know. But who knows, I don't know if they've done any digging below these things. It's quite a tight focal length to be honest. I'm used to shooting like 50s. Alright, here we go. Possibly the last shot on the roll. Oh, just black, yeah. I think that's it. It's the end of it. Okay, let's open it up. See if we can get the roll out. Opening a camera in bright daylight is not scary at all. Yeah, there it is. All rolled up. That's it. First roll, medium format, out in the frozen cold with some old ass rocks.